Hey everybody, Roger here. I had made this video a little earlier today and then I got more news after a while of some stuff that was found out. But basically what I want to talk about today is the letter that um, uh, this, this, this group of uh, the Honduran migrants that everybody knows about, about a group of about 100 to 200 people went over to the, um, uh, the US consulate in Tijuana, Mexico. And they were basically asking, uh, they, they made a letter uh, addressed to Trump basically saying, hey, you know, we're one or 200 people, I don't know how many, um, who we will, we are wanting to come into America, but if you, if you want us to leave, you know, if you want us to stop, you know, attempting to come in, you will give each of us $50,000, <laughs> among other things, among other things. And um, this, this person, the person leading this is a guy named Alfonso Guerrero uh, Viola, v, uh, probably... Uyola, 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 or something like that. And the news that had, I, again, I, I made a video of this today. I'm not going to publish it. I'll publish this one um, because I found out more information about this guy. This guy basically um, has, uh, this guy basically was part of a terrorist organization that injured about six to 12, I can't remember the exact number, six to 12 Americans uh, in Honduras. And he eventually fled to, to Mexico to seek asylum there. Mexico considers him a, um, what do you call it? They offered him protection, but I forget what they considered him. Something like a, uh, a uh, person who fights against um, tyranny or something. I don't know. I can't remember the exact phrase. But anyways, Mexico harbors him now. And uh, this guy is one of the organizers of the Honduras um, caravan and organized this group to go into this consulate. Now... Here's the thing with this. Uh, Alfonso did admit or did uh, uh, state that he had nothing to do with the with the uh, explosion, with the terrorist explosion that injured uh, six to twelve Americans back in about 1983 or 86. I can't remember the year. Somewhere in the mid 80s. Oh, I'm sorry, maybe 1989 or 88 or something like that. Anyways, he claimed to have nothing to do with that and that he was no part of it, but that he was, you know, he had other ties of something else. So it could be true. It could not be. Regardless, the fact that he was listed as a as a uh, possible uh, suspect in this in this matter uh, only lends more to the case of us not allowing people to go in unvetted, not allowing to come, uh, people to come into America into America without the proper identification, without proper anything. We need that vetting process, and these people that he's associating with the hundred to two hundred that they're demanding. And, and I will say demanding because they gave 72 hours for Trump to respond or the U.S. to respond in general. With this guy having former ties like this, being a supposed terrorist uh, from Honduras, what makes you think that these 100... Why would we take these 100 to 200 people? Are we that fucking stupid? No. And Trump will not answer. We don't deal with terrorists. We don't deal with anybody who's making negotiations with the U.S. Again, terrorists or not, they would begin coming into the United States uh, more and more and more. We give we give these 100 people or 200 people 50, 000, 50 grand each. More are going to come in their place. It never stops. It won't stop. And I think everybody knows this. Everybody knows this. And I don't think anybody, even if the left is fighting this and saying that we should, they have, there's something wrong with their brain. But anyways, um, yeah, so, so they marched over there. They, they gave that letter and <laughs> I'm kind of laughing about it because it's funny. And this guy, the guy who organized it is a possible terrorist. Again, we don't know his affiliations or his associations with these 100 or 200 people, if not more or less, whatever. Um, but they could also be terrorists in the mix as well. We just don't fucking know. This people, leftists and people who are um, Honduran caravan sympathizers, this is the reason. This is the reason why we don't let people in just automatically. Alyssa Milano, Bette Midler, Cher, all you fucking morons, you, you view panelists. You know, uh, Joy Behar and her nice and nice voice. Um, yeah, this is why you guys are just fucking morons. And again, they would be they would be taking over our areas, areas I'm from, areas where I have family and friends, and where I live. I don't want that shit. I don't want that shit. And you know, if you want to go and take them in, go ahead. Let's 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 uh, have. Um, California secede from the United States, get out of the United States, and you guys can harbor all the people you want there. You know, this is it's fucking ridiculous. And let them live in your fucking Beverly Hills mansions. Let them live in your in your million dollar homes. I doubt I doubt they will. You're gonna bring them into our communities. You want them for the cheap labor. You want us to be. Uh, you want us to get out of the way. You want us to compete with cheap labor. 
again, it, it's more than that, but I mean, oh, it's just frustrating. That's that's the first thing I think of all the time. You know, we have our own problems here. We have, you know, vets who want work. You know, one of my buddies, one of my best friends, he's been looking for work for a long time, and um, and uh, I, you know, I, I I hope he I hope he found something. Not, and not just work. He wants a career, a career, and I hope he gets a career. I really do. You know, it's just it's really sad what this world is going through these days, and and um, America in general. I think it's racist to think that people should be leaving their their home countries. Um, and again, I'm saying this out of spite, and I'm saying it in a joking, but probably somewhat serious way. I feel it's racist when, you know, people who are oh, what, virtue signaling for all of these Honduran migrants, uh, you know, supposed, supposed uh, 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 asylum seekers, and I, we'll get to more of that in a minute here, some news about that, um, how they, how everybody wants us to believe that they are actually um, uh, asylum seekers and, and whatnot. But uh, they have, we have a lot of, we have a lot of things to take care of uh, for Americans here. It's racist to say, in my opinion, and again, I'm saying this jokingly, sorry, I keep repeating myself here, but I didn't complete my sentence last time. Um, to, to have people leave their country, saying their country is, is worthless. You're basically, the leftists who are supporting this movement, you're basically, okay, on top of the fact that you're saying that you're saying it's okay that you're, with, you're okay with sex trafficking, you're okay with women and children, you know, being trafficked, uh, sometimes murdered, sometimes uh, brought into America as we don't know, possibly slaves, or possibly sex slaves, uh, whatever, you know. On top of that stuff actually happening, you guys being so fucking willfully ignorant about it, you're also willfully, willfully ignorant of the fact that they can make their own American-like country in their own in their own country, but but that's uh, but you don't want to believe that you you think that people should just be flocking here. You're you're racist. You're racist. You know. Again, I'm saying it jokingly and condescendingly, but um, but really, why wouldn't you want them to just uh, Honduras and all these other other countries are are due for a revolution. They're due for a revolution, and it's about time that they had one. So so with all of that said, uh. uh, uh you gotta, you gotta let them be left to their own devices in their own country. If they, if they made the trek all the way from Honduras to America, goddamn, the willpower that they could have to over, overthrow their government there to make it into their own America. Think about that aspect. You know, they could, they could probably make it ten times better than America. More power to them. More power to them. But right now, all they're doing is fleeing and running, running away, and we're allowing that to happen. You fucking Democrats, and again, Republicans as well. The Republicans who are profiting off of their labor. Now. Uh, this guy, Alfonso, also said that he blames the U.S. and military uh, because of the military interest in Honduras for their current situation. Now, I, I did a little research on this, and I understand that we have a, in Honduras, we have a, a uh, the U.S. Department of Defense has a joint task force. I think it was made in about 1985, 84, 83, or 82, or something like that, in the early 80s, uh, to assist in any potential Cuban or Nicaraguan threat. So Alfonso, Alfonso, uh, and that, that I think that started out with 25 million. I'm not sure what uh, for that for for it to originate and get started. I'm not sure what it costs now, but Alfonso, we assisted you guys. We I don't know about anything else economically. I'm not going to claim I know everything economically about Honduras or anything and the plights that you guys go through. But if you, you're the one saying that we're stealing from Honduras, you're the one that almost stole six to 12 lives being, uh, lives being that fucking terrorist that you are, uh, again, alleged, alleged, you're, 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 you're saying that you weren't, whoops, let's see, sorry guys, I didn't know my turn was here already, um, you're the one basically saying, uh, that, 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 um, we're stealing, but you're the one actually doing it. You, you're, you almost stole six to twelve lives allegedly with the terrorist plot that you had. You know the bomb that you that that went off uh, that you were supposedly a part of. So don't don't give us this this smack. You know don't give us this, this fucking talk here. You know and then you got people in these countries as well. You know uh, Fidel Castro. What is it? I can't remember if it was Castro um, who gave his daughter like four billion dollars so now she's rich and their country's fucking poor I mean you have all these dictators uh, these dictators from these countries that are supposedly needing American assistance but all the money is going to the top do you see your guys' fucking problem there you need to fucking fight back if you want anything to be done so now here's the fun part this is this part is awesome so the MSM narrative that everybody is aware of is is um, 
is that these guys are just asylum seekers and, and they just want a good life in America, yada, 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 you know, let them in, let them in, let them in. What some of these people's signs were saying, what some of these people's signs were saying, uh, there were some people who made signs in Tijuana when they were marching. And uh, I'm sorry, I don't know if it's a Tijuana or not, but some guy posted them on Twitter. Uh, there were like, you know, long, big signs that it took multiple people to carry. One of them basically said, um, hey, Trump, uh, or, or America, don't close, don't close your doors, employers. Um, one day you're going to need us and we're not going to come back. I'm like, that's not the way that it works, guys. Uh, employers, scrupulous employers, p employers who want to hire on the cheap and stuff, who normally hire, you know, illegal workers, they're going to find workarounds all the time. It's not about getting people from Honduras or from Mexico or from whatever, you know, shithole country. It's just about them saving their dollar. And, um, and it doesn't matter if they're from Honduras or not. But here's the other thing. You know, th those owners are also just as equal to blame here as well. They're, they're, they're giving jobs to illegals on the cheap, under the table, with no benefits, yada, 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 yada exploiting them, but also keeping other Americans, actual Americans from progressing. We could be the ones being employed, you know? Even, not just low-skill workers, you know, sometimes, you know, my job is, is you know, uh, at risk for, for illegal employment, or illegal people coming to America as well. It's not just not just low-wage jobs, you know, that happens in the big in the big field as well. But, um, <laughs> yeah, they held up those signs, and and uh, the MS, uh, the other sign that they held up was, was um, uh, did you guys, did you guys, um, uh, um, the other sign that they held up was basically saying, you know, we, we, oh, God damn it. Uh, you know, they, they held up another sign and I can't remember what it is right now, but they also demanded 300 people be let into America, speed up the asylum process, speed up the, the, the asylum process and move it along. And I'm like, this isn't your country to be telling us what to do. This is this is our country, you know. We, we you're demanding all these things from us. We can't even make those kind of demands without, you know, getting in trouble on our end here. You know, there's got to be America first. This is why America's first. This is why uh, Tijuana was first as well. Mexico first. Um, uh, the mayor of Tijuana wearing that make uh, I think is make Mexico or make Tijuana great again. I can't remember, but. Um, but yeah, you know, you guys holding up all these signs, the MSM narrative saying that, oh, that's the other sign, I'm sorry. The other sign was, hey, Trump, we're not all, you got it wrong, we're not asylum seekers, we're, um, we're up, I don't know, business opportunists, whatever, they want work here. I forget, a, 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 a migrant, I forget the word, I forget the phrase, but they're just coming here to work. <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, oh, this, it's already ruining the MSM narrative, so... That's, that's pretty hilarious, you know, MSM saying that they're victims, and yet they're saying, we're not victims, we're not asylum seekers, we just want fucking work, we want we want jobs. They basically want to steal from us, and, and we're supposed to let them in, or give them $50,000. No thank you, no thank you. Let's get the wall, please, let's get the wall. So, yeah, what are you guys' thoughts about this? I'm sorry, I kind of went off the deep end here, um, getting ready for a company party today, and uh, my mind's all over the place, I had to do it a lot of stuff for, for preparing for it, technically, so, uh, anyways, what are you guys' thoughts about all this, uh, <laughs> this guy possibly being a former, ter Alfonso being a former terrorist, you know, allegedly striking a bomb, exploding a bomb that caused injury to about six to 12 American soldiers, and he wants to be let in the country, or $50,000 in 72 hours or else, I'd really like to know what that what else is, because it sounds like a threat to me. Um, yeah, let's, okay, let's let these people in, see what happens. Fucking ridiculous. Anyways, uh, like, hate, share, subscribe, unsubscribe, I love it all. You guys all have a great day. Peace out.